One of the biggest problems we see when working with budgets, forecasts, and actuals is that people set up a budget like this, and then when it comes to actuals, they actually start overwriting either the input cells or the formulas. And that can be a problem because depending how you set it up, you may sometimes want to go see what was the budget. You also want to sometimes run variances, how we're comparing to budget, etc. So try and avoid that. If you set up a budget, set it up, keep it the same. Using good practice, you then should set up a sheet with the actuals, which looks exactly the same, on the same rows, same columns, etc., where you capture your actuals. What that allows you to then do is to create a combination. So you'll see here, we've got formulas that say, look at actual. If there's an actual number there, so notice there's 91,840 and then nothing. Let's look at our total, 91,840, because when it comes here, it now knows there is no actual, therefore go back to the budget. This is a much better way to do it because You've maintained your budget. If you want, you can have another sheet for forecast. You've got your actuals. You can work out an actual year to date. But you can then combine them to see what will we look like at the end if we have some actuals and some forecasts. It also makes it very easy to create another sheet and then to compare what did we say the budget was and what actually happened. So for example, I may do this. I'm actually going to take the actual. I'm going to copy it. So I've created a new sheet. I'm going to say budget versus actual. And for example, I can now go and say, OK, let us take what actually happened in that month and divide it by what we budgeted to happen in that month. Minus one. Let's format it as a percentage. And you'll see immediately we've got a percentage because of the structure, because of the way we've set it out. Okay, now go and paste and quickly get a view of what's happening. What's the difference between our actual and our budget? I could paste this everywhere. Because we have no actuals, it's showing minus 100%. So you may want to build something in that again checks, have we got an actual, then give us a comparison. And then it's easy to add conditional formatting on at this stage to easily be able to see it. Because you've got the actual, you've got the budget, this combination, if you build clever formulas, you can actually then step backwards and forwards. Tell me what we looked like when we were in month three or month six, etc.